A lot of Puerto Rican voters are outraged after remarks by a comedian at a weekend rally for Donald Trump in New York. The stand-up comedian called the U.S. territory, quote, a floating island of garbage. Political reporter Doug Reardon is live tonight in Gwinnett County, where members of the local Puerto Rican community spoke up today. And Doug, they're pretty angry. They're very angry, Blair, and they say that this could very well cost Donald Trump votes among the Puerto Rican community in places where he really cannot lose any votes. Places like here in Gwinnett County and neighboring Cobb County, where there are some of the largest populations of Puerto Rican Georgians in the entire state. 100,000 Puerto Ricans live in the metro Atlanta, mm -hmm. and we vote. Puerto Rican community leaders like business owner Grace Williams was outraged by these comments about her home island made by comedian Tony Hinchcliffe at a Trump rally Sunday. There's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. I think that that moment showed us how um, insignificant we are to this campaign for them and they don't they don't really uh, care about who we are. Williams was joined by other leaders in the Puerto Rican community, including former state lawmaker Pedro Marin, who said the blame isn't entirely on the comedian. I don't really blame the comedian. I blame the campaign. The Trump campaign, in a rare move, commented on Hinchcliffe's jokes, which he also made about Jewish and black voters, too. Quote, this joke does not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign, unquote, said a senior advisor to the campaign. But Puerto Rican voters, and more broadly, Latino voters, one in five of whom will cast their first ballot this election, are still angry. I think that for many people, this was a tipping point. Trump has a complicated past with the island and its people. This moment after Hurricane Maria, where Trump tossed paper towels into a crowd, outraged many Puerto Rican citizens. That same year, the Housing Department reported Trump had held up $20 billion in hurricane relief for the island. Advocates reminding Trump this week that even though the people on the island can't vote, they are citizens. My people, just like the people born here in the States, are U.S. citizens. We are Americans. And today, Trump denied knowing Tony Hinchcliffe, that comedian, and called Sunday's event at Madison Square Garden, quote, a love fest. From Gwinnett County, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.